so extra But I know I'm the same yeah. Love me in spite of my trauma Give me what I need instead of the drama Cause when it pop off it's like oh my All good all day but the night We be going so hard on the flip side So tell me we'll be on a day babe I could keep that same energy When you go low I go low too You'd rather stay high, I know you Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that way Trying to control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We could share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane either way, baby We could go all night We could do it all night We could go all night Calls go to voicemail I block you so I don't raise hell Should the talk through it in detail I separate ways ain't gon' end well No But when we get back it's like oh my All bad all day but the night I Get that good good till we act right So tell me where we on the day babe I could keep that same energy When you go low I go low too Hey So it's a new day and um, a new vlog and I just jumped out of the shower. I'm in my guest bathroom right now because the lighting in here is a little bit better and I hope that the echo isn't as bad because I have connected my mic. Yeah, I have connected my mic so I'm hoping it works out. I just wanted to show you this portion of the video which is skincare because I know a lot of the time I get asked about my skincare quite a bit. Let me close the windows because there's a bunch of birds. Bunch of birds outside my window. Okay. Anyway, so I know I get asked about this quite a bit. So I'm going to share with you guys what I typically use every single day. I just jumped out of the shower, but I didn't touch my face. I mean, of course, I wet my face in the shower, but uh, I'm going to show you what I use because I get this a lot your skin skin care <laughs> so we're gonna do that now um first things first when i do jump out of the shower i don't wash my face in the shower very rarely that i do um i'm always washing my face by a basin which is what i am confronted with here in the in the in the here okay um the first thing that i normally go for is the the roche posay effeclar uh, hydrating cleansing cream now I'm not gonna zoom it in I'm not gonna do this because it's gonna change the color of um, what is that wow that right here looks like there's somebody chilling there doesn't it <laughs> so typically what I would do is wet my face first that's a standard do I even have a towel in here hang on two seconds so normally I'll just with my face like so and this is what I do every single day um, especially on days where I have makeup but I don't have makeup on today so I do a pump of this and here we go just I'm using my viewfinder as a mirror so please because the mirror is here she's here so here we go I just Casually, generally, just wash lightly, gently, right? Gently. I stay quite far away from the eyes. If you can see, I, I hardly play around there. Um, just because that skin around there is quite sensitive. So pretty much this is what I do. Clean. I love this because it's not abrasive. It's actually just um, smooth. It's a smooth hydrating cream. Oh, we love that. For every day, it's perfect. And then, wash my face. So give me two seconds. So after that, I dry my face. I don't typically like to dry my face with a towel, but um, it be like that sometimes, right? So I just pat dry, as opposed to wiping away. You just kind of have to pat it dry. Uh, that's it. That's it. I hope everything looks okay, but... Look at me like that sometimes, I've, of course, with my t-shirt, because I do this all the time. We move on to the toning bit of 
this video, the toning portion, which is where I use the La Roche-Posay Cero Zinc um, Cleansing Sulfate Solution. And I just, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's my toner. That's pretty much it. That's all I do. That's, that's it. After that, I kind of just wait for my face to dry. So in this instance, we're just going to look outside, see what people are doing in their houses. Literally just eavesdrop in people's yards and things while we wait. <laughs> so after that, I will then go in with this. This is the Ordinary uh, Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. Uh, before, I used to use the L'Oreal one. So I'm going to dip maybe like three drops into the palm of my hand. I learned the other day, uh, courtesy of Figila, not to touch it to my skin because then the germs that are on here will transfer back into the bottle and we don't want that. So then I just rub it on my face as gently as possible. You don't want to... One thing you don't want to do is tug at the skin on your face. You don't want to pull too much. Just want to see. And this is great because it leaves your face feeling quite tacky. Like for makeup, this would be good. And after that, I go in with the Skin Creamery Jojoba Melon Seed and Baobab Facial Oil. I do one pump, literally one pump. That's why it manages to last me for about um three months so i do one pump my neighbor is outside and if he sees me he's gonna see that i'm recording myself and it's gonna look pretty weird but be like that sometimes i just i'm looking like a shiny ball but but it's fine we're okay we're okay ah that normally feels so good and it's like it smells very it's fine, we saved it, we saved it. Uh, it smells very plant-like, which is really, really nice. And if I'm not mistaken, this is like vegan and, yep, it is, so it's vegan. So it's really, really good. It smells very, very plant-like, which we love. And then I will typically follow with this. This is the day cream. At night, I will use this because it's slightly heavier, but then I'll follow with the Skin Creamery, Asamella Flower, Aloe Leaf, chlorophyll uh, wildflower water cream this is really good it's much lighter especially for summer two pumps literally that's it for summer it's really nice because it's much lighter oh man that feels good also again smells very herbal very botanical like plant like we love that um and that's pretty much what i do then tap it in wake up the skin a little bit all right, at night, this step would be replaced by this, which is the Coconut Jojoba Baobab Everyday Cream. It is a lot thicker, um, so I prefer to use it at night as opposed to during the day. I don't want my skin to feel heavy because I sweat too much. I'm, I'm trying to, no, I'm not trying to do that. Then I will follow with my eye cream, which I have been using for the past three months or even more, so I haven't changed my eye cream at all. This is the Nutri Women uh, Dermaceutics Eye Lift Gel. And literally, one pump. One pump, that's it, that's why it's lasting me this long. And then I rub it into my fingers, like so. Oh, that lady's wearing such a pretty dress. And I rub it into my fingers, and then tap it onto my face. And I always go on the sides here, because there's also skin there as 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 you know as light as the skin around your eyes is best option is always to go in with a tap very very good to go in with a tap do not drag don't drag and I just ma, 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 ma. and then finally this is the last step of my skincare spf so I do about three pumps of the SPF onto my finger, like so. And then we protect our face. So I don't go too close to my eyes, as you can see. Don't go too close to my eyes, because that's where my eye cream is. And because I won't be leaving the house today. I won't be leaving the house today. It's fine. It's fine. We're okay, you know? We're okay. Uh, just rub it in like so. I am 
specifically looking at the viewfinder because I want to make sure I'm doing the right things. And then I just typically rub it over my lips because it is SPF and your lips are still skin, right? Aren't they? Yeah. So, there we go. And we tap again. Wake it up. Wake it up. Wake it up. Wake so, it up. That's pretty much my skin. Oh, last one. I had a pimple here. Can you see this? Mm -hmm. So my skin has changed color a little bit there. So for pimples and all of that, I use the Eucerin Spot Corrector. It's just so, so good. And then I just dabble it on there. And I leave it on there like that. I don't rub it in or anything like that. I, I just don't. And anywhere where there's extra darkness on my face, hyperpigmentation that may have been caused by spots or anything else, I do it like that. That's a beauty spot to be honest, but okay. And that's it. That's my skincare. I'm glowing to the gods. Okay, I'm looking like a, a big glow ball. But that's pretty much what I use for my skincare. We'll talk about it a little bit uh, downstairs, but I am famished. I'm really, really hungry. I don't want anything too heavy. I don't know what I want. Maybe a um, slice of toast with an egg. Avo, maybe? I don't know. I don't want, I'm not, I'm not, you know, let's, let's talk about it. Yeah, all right. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. All night, all night. Do we heal, do we bleed? I'm a fella, yo, we, we can go all night. I've been calm, cool, collected, but you pushing on my nerves. And knowing your intention, I'm under pressure. Okay, I'm admitting that a couple things I said got acidic in the tone and the presence, I get careless. Long as you know, I come with imperfections When you look at me, you see the soul through my flesh You something special Know you looking bomb, the way you dress it gone Flex it, hold it still and let my mind digest You got the leverage You got the upper handle on the situation You worthy of a million more of the storms that we weather We fight retreating, then fuck, but you trying to kill the cycle When nobody's stressing that body like me, I know the way you like it I treat you like a queen, run the castle, you a treasure Feel like you setting fire to my desire for the pleasure You a gem, got me blim, let's make amends No, you can't, I'm out here Trying to control our emotions If we on the right side of passion We can share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane either way, baby, we could go on We could go on At some point they were dying and I thought the whole plant was dying and now I'm very confused because these ones I actually even stopped watering it and then these ones started appearing and I'm just like sweetie what do you even mean we love it so can you guys see me all right so it is uh, it's currently 12.33, I woke up, I would have eaten much earlier than this, but uh, Balisa called and I was on the phone with her for about an hour and a half. And now I'm hungry. Um, I'm really bummed that I do not know where my eight hour cream is. And of course it is Sunday, so my neighbors are um, handling their gardens. So you might hear whizz. I'm I really don't know what to have. I did want to have a bagel, but I'm going to have a chat with you guys. Listen, the last two, three weeks, uh, my alcohol intake level has uh, gone a little bit wild. Uh, I would drink alcohol during the week, not to get drunk, but I would have a couple of glasses uh, every other day and all of that. And I'm somebody who restricts myself to having alcohol over the weekend. So I know that my body is really not happy with me right now. And to top it off, uh, with food, I've been, why, why in the fire key? Why, why, why? With food, why? I've been, yeah, here and there, here and there, here and there about food. Um, but, yeah, one minute I'm good, one minute I'm not. But this past week, it's Sunday now. This past week I've been really, really good. The only time I ate junk food was actually yesterday where I had mozzarella. I had mozzarella sticks and cheese bites and had a good time with that. Um, but yeah, starting on Monday, I need to get my, just starting really today, I need to get my life in order. I really did want to participate in October. But I'm just going to modify my October. So what I've decided is that I'm not 
going to touch alcohol during the week. That's my standard about Oxoba. I'm not going to touch alcohol during the week. Over the weekend, I will, but I will do it in moderation. So not, um, not as much as I typically would over a weekend. Just bring it down a notch. Uh, so that's going to be hard because the last couple of weeks have just been dominated by me grabbing a glass of wine after work or, you know, two glasses of wine and then skipping it in and then having another. But I have to just control my alcohol intake because I know, I know I've probably gained some bit um, and uh, I'm not happy about it. So anyway, that jumps into food. Uh, I'm gonna try and not, I really did want to have a bagel for breakfast. I do have them in my fridge. Um, I do have bagels in my fridge, but mm -mm. the best option would be to have my normal loji eye bread that I normally have. Uh, and normally, Recently, I had been doing two slices of avocado and toast. I need to dial it back a notch and actually have one slice maybe with a plate of fruit or whatever. So that's what I'm going to do. I do also feel like having an egg. I am going to be cooking today because I really enjoy having food ready to warm up in the fridge during the week. I don't, I don't, I don't like cooking every day. I realize it's just not my vibe. I really don't like cooking every day. So we're going to prepare something that will at least last me the next two, three days. And then hmm, there's a bunch of things I want to do, like also tidy up my bedroom. You know how the side tables in your bedroom often just over months just get filled with gunk and pens and pills and uh, coins and just a bunch of gunk. Mine are starting to look, no, mine are looking like that right now. They're looking quite tragic. So, I can't believe I have to put Vaseline on my lips when I've got a whole entire eight hour cream chilling somewhere. she thinks she is okay this kettle is amazing oh well I'll, I'll probably just have an espresso so we're not gonna do that uh, what's going on here ah okay so when you switch it on it lights blue but it really is the girl we think she is look at that look at that wow it's gonna make a noise and then of course, we have the toaster here right next to my coffee machine. Um, I actually need to move the machine slightly that way because, yeah. But we've got the toaster here, beautiful toaster. Absolutely love it. Um, <laughs> funny story, Tandy, you know who Tandy is. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know who Tandy is. Tandy always, every time I make a cup of coffee or an espresso, in uh, this she always puts them back here because she feels like it looks nice it looks aesthetically pleasing you just pick it up from here and you put it onto the machine so she always puts them here and I think it's just the cutest thing I don't think it's necessary I feel like what can stay here is this but she feels like no it's it's a whole look and she'll always put them here like so and I'm just like okay girl I'll see you let's get the coffee machine going there it is. Sure. Thank you, Nespresso.
this, this. Sweetie, hmm. trust me. Just trust me. Thanks for feel way. If you want a dairy alternative, this butternut oat milk. Do you see that? have a little chat with you guys Ugh, I don't have a kitchen towel but I'm hungry okay I wanted to have a little chat with you guys about vlogtober my sister's been trying to get me into doing vlogtober and here's the thing about that I want to do vlogtober I really do um I just won't find the time. So what I have um, tried to challenge myself on is as opposed to uploading videos twice a week, I'll try for three times this, uh, each week. Uh, October does have five weeks, so there's going to be a lot more content on my channel um, as opposed to uh, a normal month. I'm going to try for that. I don't know if it's going to be possible. Please don't be too hard on me. I know you guys like my content and you're here because you love my content and I appreciate you. I really do. But I've got work and I've got other things and, uh, you know, all that stuff. So, it's... Mm -hmm. this pesto paste. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So, um... All I'm saying is I am going to give it a shot. I am going to try. But we'll see. Don't be too hard on me. We'll see. Um, there's a lot going on this month. I've been invited to doing a speaking engagement for um, Mental Health Awareness Month. I'll talk a little bit about that later on in the month and um, I really really feel humbled and honored to actually speak on mental health awareness especially for content creators in a time like this but I'll talk more about that speaking engagement later on in the month um, but yeah it is mental health awareness month I think we need to um, be more cognizant of our mental health especially this month do it for yourself. Oh, that pesto. Mm. Do it for yourself. You know, uh, your mental space is very, very important. Um, especially in the times we live in. Because there's just so much going on each and every single day. That getting things in check here for yourself, very, very important. It should be your number one uh, priority. Um, talking about these two are a shit show okay these this one here it's fine but these two are a mess and opening them up every single day because I need to put in my keys and I need to put in this I've just noticed that it's become a dumping section for pills and all of that so it's a little bit messy I'm not happy with what I'm seeing it's actually really starting to annoy me so what we're gonna do now is um clean this out i'm gonna put a towel on my bed this is normally how i do it if you've watched my previous cleaning vlogs over the the years where i've cleaned where I've, where I've cleaned out my bedroom this is pretty much what i 
This is how I do it. So we're going to get a towel. I can't even speak. We're going to get a towel and we're going to get started. Let's go. So this is what it pretty much looks like. Bunch of junk. There's keys in here. Fine. But then there's just extra stuff that's just useless to me. And like, look at this. Licorice. I don't ever remember the last time I dipped into this. So I'm going to just throw, throw shit out. Okay. Everything that goes in the bag is junk and everything else we will rearrange. Got this really, really nice phone cover from Ted Baker. Look at this, look at this, look at this. How pretty is that phone cover? Sis, somnils for when I can't sleep. That works. Disprint works all the time. If there's one thing you should know about me is that I've, I've was a sickly child. I've always been a sickly child. Uh, what is this? This is Xenor. This is pretty much old, probably for traveling. This is pretty much what it looks like right now. I feel like the lids are creating some sort of division which is fine uh it prevents things like coins and all of that from moving around so this is pretty much a miscellaneous these things are important to me these straps which i need to wash are important to me my keys are all in one corner keys remote controls all that stuff um pens for when i'm writing in my journal or highlighting in my books and all of that necessary um this is for when i really just struggle with my, uh, what is this, sinuses, or when I'm sick, vapor up, so I've decided to keep that there, as opposed to the pills, which I removed, my IDs and all that stuff, and yeah, so for now, that's what, all of that stuff has come out, and now this is how it looks, which <sighs> still drives me a little bit crazy, but it's fine. It's fine. For now, until I can get storage containers, which I'll probably go buy sometime this week, this is fine. This works for okay. me. Right now. So here's drawer number two. And this pretty much just has pills, allergics, condoms, pretty much things I would reach for. <laughs> condoms, pretty much things I would reach for. Uh, things that I would need regularly. Oh my God, I'm sinking this ship. I'm sinking it. Okay, anyway. So we're going to tidy this up. First thing that shouldn't be in here is this Pandora box. Uh, I do have a Pandora chain thing. And this is also going to go in the room next door. Because that's date 2017. Got an at-home HIV test. I got it because I was getting a test done earlier on this year. And um, the nurse just gave me this one as a spare. So I'm, I keep it there. Uh, condoms because girls, girls having sex okay uh, my favorite brand right now I've actually switched from we're grown we can have this chat here but um, I've switched from lovers plus to skin I'm actually a big fan of skin now but I keep this for uh, rainy days when skin is finished and here we go so this is drawer number two done um, Put all the meds, which is literally nothing compared to what I have. Look at how full this bag is. Uh, put all the meds on one side, my creams, all of that, um, the emerald gels, and my purse. The reason why my purse is here is because I use a smaller one now. It's like half the, not even half, like a, a quarter of the size. Uh, because I carry small bags now as opposed to big bags. So this still has quite a few of my cards and things that I still like my clicks cards, ebucks cards, all that stuff. It has quite a few of that in here. So I kept this purse here. Um, little miscellaneous stuff which I separated so it doesn't fly all over the place. Uh, pens, all of that. Looks much, much neater than it did before. So I'm happy. There's just a couple of things that I need to put away. And uh, we should. So I wanted to show you. I may have a bit of a problem when it comes to phone covers. Uh, I like to have a bit of variety. So this is for the iPhone 10, which is this one. Um, and my phones normally stay in pristine condition because of this. 
I do not skimp out on buying good quality covers and uh, screen protectors. This is so as you can see, there's a screen protector over the phone. So I do not skimp, skimp out on that because this is gloss all the way around, as you can see. So I just took out, uh, which one did I take out? This one. I just took out this one. So I'm thinking because the months are warmer and all of that, I'm thinking maybe just switch to this one. This is the nice thing, you know? But obviously I've been buying them over the last couple of years. I've had that 10 for two years three years now three going on the third so i keep them in a certain spot where i keep all my phone covers and uh, yeah i love to have variety in the winter time i'll typically go with darker colors but summertime i love it bright so i'm going to clean this up with this right now and then install it on the phone and then i'm going to go i was going to wear the shirt today i felt like wearing it looking kind of cute even though i'm in the house but ended up working so it's fine um this is the jewelry piece that came out of here. Look at this. Look at this. How gorgeous is this piece? Look at this piece. Oh my god. And it just dangles on your neck. It's so pretty. Um, 